hi guys welcome back to my channel it's another season of signai de complimentare part four okay if you've not seen part one two three we have it in the description box okay quickly go check it out after this video and check the previous ones based on um complementary science from part one up to part three we've done that one okay this is part four and today we'll be seeing um we'll be seeing the resioni conciliata otto cari and other ones okay we'll be seeing other ones as well so i'll be explaining for a better understanding all right my newcomers una welcome i beg i beg una please subscribe turn the notification bell on so that as i'm posting videos okay you'll be following up hmm? you don't want to miss out on any of this video now let us jump right into this video okay direction conciliata auto car and at this now direction way um, they advise these people. It is not obliged, okay? Remember, I told you, that's why it is good to watch previous videos, okay? I told you on this particular signal, it is temporary signals, okay? On the last video, I said these are temporary signals because they have yellow background, okay? It indicates that it is there due to a work in progress, due to road work, okay? It is not permanent. It is temporarily okay the ones with yellow background are temporary complementary signals now let me um read through tale signale indica la direzione conciliata non obligatoria it is not obligatory these are signals advised for you to go through ali otto carri di massa complessiva a pieno carico superiore alle 3,5 tonnellate now, if you not say you drive auto cargo, if you're driving auto cargo that's at a full mass load, it is more than 3.5 ton. Use your right. Okay? Now, it is not obliged. It means they can actually keep going straight forward. They are not obliged. Okay? But they advise them. Hmm? If you not say your full mass load at a full mass load it is more than 3.5 ton and you are driving this type of vehicle, auto cargo, use your right. You are advised. Si trova in genere in prossimità dei cantieri stradali, you find it, okay, where they are doing road work, where there is a work in progress. È posto nel punto esatto della deviazione e può essere preceduto da un segnale preavviso di deviazione. Okay. Now, you see this one at the exact point of where the deviation is. Telling you. If you not say you will auto car, your full mass load is more than 3.5 tons, you are advised, use your right. Now, before the signal, there would be another signal like this, okay? But this time with Panello Integrativo, telling you ahead of this deviation. They can tell you 50 meters ahead of you, there's a deviation for who? For this particular vehicle. Do you understand? So it can tell you in 50 meter, in 100 meter, that is when it is called preavis. So it tells you ahead of time of this deviation. If you're carrying auto car with that at a full mass load, it is more than 3.5 ton. Have it in mind that in 50 meter, you will be advised to use your right, okay? Not that they are forcing you to, not that you're obliged to, okay? But it is better that way that you use your right. That's what they're telling you. So you might come across a signal that has, uh, what's it called? Panello Integrativo, underneath it telling you the distance, okay, from where you will need to come and begin the turn to that right. Do you understand? Non è vero che indica un area di sosta per gli autocarri. It is not true that it tells you that this place, not place where we say, autocarro, they will fit sosta, they will fit park. So this place, this signal does not tell you a parking space for this category of vehicles, no. Okay, let's see another one. Direzioni obligatoria per autotreni e autoarticolati. Now, unlike the first one, it was not obligatory. They no force them. It means that if you go straight forward, right? Now, this one, then they tell them, say, you not get any other option. You must keep going straight. For who? For this category of vehicles, autotreni, autoarticolati. Now, only these people it is referring to. So if I drive car, it not concern me. If I drive bike, it not concern me. If I drive even autobus, it not concern me. Auto, auto, auto car, or, uh, what's it called? Ah, 
caravan of the caravan it not consign me okay so many other vehicles that does not fall underneath this particular category of vehicle sorry okay auto training auto articulati only these people in the refetto okay è un segnale temporaneo e un segnale di indicazione mm -hmm. è posto in prossimità di un cangere stradale indica la direzione obbligatoria solo per i veicoli indicati in figura in questo caso autotreni e autoarticolati so in this case we have autotreni e autoarticolati not only the media effect due to a road work okay? it is temporary signals it is temporary Okay, this signal as a whole is temporary. Okay, but because of your road work, they they have um brought out an obligation sign placed on it again, telling those people where they drive to train and auto articulati, only one or two, only this set of people, you they oblige keep going the gito. Every other person can turn to the right, every other person can turn to the left. But if you know say they drive auto training, if you know say they drive auto articulati, keep going the gito. Okay. Let's see another one. Preavviso di deviazioni per veicoli di massa superiore a 7 tonnellate. Now, this one's now for vehicle will be say the mass now it is more than what seven ton it indicate more than seven tonnellate. Okay, now attention. This one forbids all vehicles because of signal D. Um Deviator here. I'm, I'm hold on. Let me see if I can zoom this thing for you guys to see clearly. I think it's okay this way. Now, this now deviator signal for who? For vehicles, okay, at the full mass load more than seven tonnellate. So I'm going to read. Fa parte di signale temporaneo per cantieri di di lavori sulla strada. Now this now part of temporary signals again. Okay, and this one, they see for what they do road work. Now, due to this road work, this signal don't come into force. It means, say, after road work, you might not come across the signal again. They go come water. It is temporarily. Vieta. A tutti i veicoli con massa a pieno carico superiore a sette tonnellate. Di proseguire di rito e indica il percorso sostitutivo. <laughs> Luca è comunque raggiungibile. Now let's go. Now if for beats or vehicle at a full mass load, okay, your vehicle at a full mass load now it passed seven ton. Okay, if for beats or vehicles like that to go what the gito. Now there's no specific vehicle, you know, indicate which vehicle. If you look at this photo, there's no vehicle it is indicating to. It means say all vehicle is included. If you know, say at a full mass load, your vehicle is more than seven ton. You cannot go the gito to get to Luca. Okay? Now, before this road walk, this signal was not here. Before. Before the road walk, there was no, there was, this signal was not there. It means, uh, even if your vehicle did 8 ton, even if your vehicle did 9 ton, you first go straight to get to where? Luca. But because of this road walk now, because there's a road walk, okay, now it has forbidden vehicles at a full mass load more than seven ton, okay, not to go the gito to get to look again. But you can use this deviation. You can go through this way. You can go through this way to get to Luca. You can go through Pontempetri -Pont this way, okay, to get to Luca. But you cannot go the gito to get to Luca. Do you understand? But Luca is still reachable. So even if I get 10 ton, Luca is still reachable like normally what they would go the road before the road walk. So before the road walk, so they drive vehicle will be 8 ton and they use the gate to they get to Luca before. I first still get to Luca this time, even when the road walk is on. But I'm not going to go the gate again. I will have to go through this division. But I will still, Luca, I first still get to Luca. Do you understand? But... But vehicles where they below this certain tonnellate can go to to get to Luca. Only if you know, say, your vehicle at the full mass load it is more than seven ton, use this deviation. But Luca, you feel still richer. Tutti li altri veicoli possono invece possibly get to So other vehicles, okay, lesser than seven tonnellate, mm, you can go straight forward to get to Luca. You can. All right. We will see another one. Hope you're enjoying it. If you're having difficulty leaving the comment section, hopefully I'm going to see it quickly and then respond to you. Okay? Let us see. 
one more in this particular video before because we can't do it at a, a, just one video it's going to be long patent if you follow like that to get you bored do you understand so i'm going to give you one more then i'll bring out another video based on temporary signals because we still have another temporary signals to cover we won't cover them fully here all right Okay, previous OTD via Sony Temporania. Still another deviation, temporary deviation. I'm going to zoom it again like I did the other one so we can see clearly. Okay. Okay, I think it is okay this way, right? Now, let's go. Now, this is another temporary deviation. Now, initially before the road work, it's not here. It is here because of this road work. And that is why you're seeing it in yellow background. Mm, attention. You're seeing it in yellow background. Okay, now this one, a previous so. Why it be previous? So because of this one. Okay, remember again that it is telling us of this one is giving more, more information, okay, about this particular complementary signals. Now the both of them gives information. Now it is a temporary signal, it tells you that two kilometers ahead, okay, is a stretch whereby this would affected. Now let me not confuse you. Let's go, let's go bit by bit. Now this not previous. Temporary, they can tell it tells you ahead of this particular um, previous, this particular roadwork. A post to impose the meter on course, okay, precede on country stradal, vieta, a tutti di i veicoli, the proseguire di rito e indica il percorso sostitutivo, non vera e comunque raggiungibile. Now, forgive me, I'm reading fast, but I'm going to explain the word. Now, this, everybody won't go novara. Hmm? Fine, but this particular place now, there's a good work. Now, there's no vehicle, you know, they indicate to any vehicle. Mm -hmm. Initially, all of us would use straight road to get to Novara. Straight road to get to Novara. Just go straight, go to Novara. But because the road work don't come, come, there's now a work on this road. What are we going to do? This signal, which is men at work, tells us every vehicle, you cannot go straight again to reach that Novara when they use straight road they reached before. What you need to do is go through this deviation again to get to Novara. But Novara is still reachable. Okay? This one, there's no vehicle, particular vehicle is indicating to. It means everybody is involved. There's a roadwork. We cannot go straight to get to my city again. Let us assume I'm going to my city and I use straight road to get to my city. Because of men at work, I cannot go straight to get to my city again. But there's a deviation provided at this time. Use this deviation. But your city, of course, it goes still richer. Do you understand? So that is what the signal is about. Now, we have another one underneath Spanello de Estesa. Now, this one, they tell you the stretch of the road where they are affected. The stretch of the road where they are affected. So from this point to this point, 19 are affected. So there's a deviation. Now, this road work affects within two kilometer length, the stretch, the length, the longness, okay? Two kilometer. Do you understand? Okay, so that is that for this particular signal. I'm going to do, I'm not going to go further. Let's stop it here. Okay, I'm going to do part five. Part five of um, temporary signals. We still have, I think we still have some to cover. Okay, please share my video. Like this video if you understand what, I, what I'm teaching you. Okay, you, you should like, you should share. Okay, but if you have any difficulties, still like and share, but still leave up a comment share your difficulty. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for coming through for me. I really appreciate you for choosing this channel. Okay, what am I showing you? If you follow this channel, you're going to get your patent. Okay, we have lessons we do off YouTube. If you're interested, you still reach out to me. My number is on the screen. Okay, you reach out to me, so I add you to this group whereby you can go faster. Mm -hmm. It's not YouTube is kind of slow because I have to, I need to get hold of some time to come and start doing video and all that. But at the back end, we have these lessons already programmed where we teach these things, okay? See you later in my next video. Bye-bye.